Have you ever wondered how a handful of warriors could stand against an army of thousands? Picture this, the Battle of Thermopylae, a clash of titans that unfolded in the sweltering summer of 480 BCE. On one side, the formidable Greek city-states led by the iron-willed King Leonidas of Sparta. On the other, the vast Persian Empire commanded by the ambitious King Xerxes. The Greeks, vastly outnumbered, faced an intimidating force, a Persian horde that stretched as far as the eye could see. But they had a trump card, the narrow pass of Thermopylae, a strategic choke point that could neutralize the Persian advantage in numbers. The conflict was fueled by more than just territorial disputes. For the Greeks, it was about defending their lands, their freedom, their way of life from foreign subjugation. And so, as the Persian horde approached, the Greeks stood firm, ready to defend their lands and their freedom. In the narrow pass of Thermopylae, the Greeks made their stand. A place of strategic brilliance, Thermopylae, known to many as the Hot Gates, was a narrow passage that would prove crucial in this historic battle. This was not a random choice of location, but a calculated decision. The Greeks, led by King Leonidas of Sparta, knew the importance of the terrain in warfare and its ability to nullify the colossal numerical advantage of the Persian forces. Thermopylae was an excellent choice. Its narrowness only allowed a limited number of soldiers to fight at once, effectively neutralizing the Persian advantage in numbers. The Greeks, highly trained in the art of phalanx warfare, could hold their own against the Persian onslaught. As the Persian forces descended upon the Greeks, they were met with a wall of shields and spears. The Greeks held their ground, their unyielding defense inflicting heavy casualties on the Persian forces. The Persians, used to overwhelming their enemies with sheer numbers, found themselves in a deadly stalemate. The Greeks stood firm, their shields interlocked, their spears pointing outwards, forming a formidable barrier. The Persian arrows rained down, but they could not break the Spartan wall. The Greeks, skilled warriors to a man, fought with the strength of lions, each one worth a dozen Persians. The Persian King Xerxes watched in disbelief as his grand army was held at bay by a comparatively small force of Greeks. His soldiers fell by the hundreds, yet the Greek line did not falter. The Persians attacked wave after wave, but each was repelled. The Greeks, though outnumbered, fought with a ferocity that seemed to defy the odds. As the day drew to a close, the battlefield was littered with the bodies of the fallen Persians. The Greeks, though weary, stood victorious their line unbroken. They had held their ground against an enemy vastly superior in numbers, proving that strategy and courage were equally as important as sheer numbers in battle. The Greeks fought with the strength of lions, but the Persian numbers seemed endless. This was just the beginning of the epic battle of Thermopylae, a battle that would become a symbol of courage and sacrifice for centuries to come. Yet even the bravest warriors cannot fight fate. This was a lesson that the Greeks learned through the actions of a man named Ephialtes. A local resident of Trachis, Ephialtes was a familiar face, a neighbor, a fellow Greek. Yet it was this very man who would play a pivotal role in the unfolding of the Battle of Thermopylae. Ephialtes, whose name would go down in history as synonymous with betrayal, was not a warrior. He was not part of the 300 Spartans or the 7,000 other Greeks standing their ground at the hot gates. Yet his actions would have a profound impact on the outcome of the battle. Driven by a complex mix of fear, resentment, and a misguided desire for recognition from the Persians, Ephialtes made a fateful decision. He approached the Persian king Xerxes and revealed a secret mountain path known as the Anopaya path. This path, hidden and narrow, wound its way around the treacherous terrain, leading directly behind the Greek lines. This betrayal was a game changer. The Greeks, who had so valiantly held their ground, now found themselves in a precarious position. The Persians, once stalled by the brave Greek defense, could now bypass the hot gates entirely and attack from the rear. The impact of Ephialtes' betrayal cannot be overstated. It turned the tide of the battle, shifting the advantage to the Persian side. The Greeks, who had hoped to hold off the Persians long enough for reinforcements to arrive, were now encircled and outnumbered. Their strategy, their courage, their sacrifice, all seemed to be in vain. As the Persians began their march along the secret path, the Greeks were left to grapple with a stark truth. 
their fellow countrymen had turned traitor. Their defenses were compromised and their chances of victory were slipping away. The harsh reality was setting in. With the Persians now behind their lines, the Greeks faced a grim reality. Yet even in the face of certain death, the Spartans did not falter. In the heart of the battle, Leonidas, the Spartan king, received the grim news of betrayal. Ephialtes, one of their own, had shown the Persians a secret path leading behind Spartan lines. The hot gates were no longer a formidable fortress. They were a trap. Faced with this devastating revelation, Leonidas made a decision that would immortalize his name in the annals of history. He dismissed the majority of his Greek allies, sending them away to safety. But he, along with his 300 Spartans, chose to stay. They would make their stand at the hot gates, turning the trap into a gauntlet for the Persian forces. These were no ordinary men. They were Spartans, trained from childhood to be the perfect warriors. And they were led by Leonidas, a king who would rather die on his feet than live on his knees. A few other warriors stayed as well, Thespians and Thebans who chose to share the Spartans' fate. They knew the odds, they knew they were outnumbered, but they also knew they were the last line of defense. The final battle was a spectacle of courage and determination. Outnumbered and outflanked, the Spartans fought with the ferocity of men who knew they had nothing to lose. Every Spartan became a wall, every spear a death sentence to the Persians. They fought until their spears broke, then they fought with their swords. When their swords shattered, they fought with their bare hands and teeth. The Persians came like a tide, wave after wave, but each was broken upon the immovable rock of Spartan resolve. Yet as the day wore on, even the mighty Spartans began to falter. One by one they fell, but not before making the Persians pay a heavy price. Each Spartan was a hero, each death a saga of courage and defiance. They fell, but not before making the Persians pay a heavy price. Their last stand became a symbol of resistance, a beacon of courage in the face of overwhelming odds. The Battle of Thermopylae was lost, but the legend of the 300 Spartans was born. The Battle of Thermopylae ended, but its echoes would resonate throughout history. This three-day clash between the mighty Persian Empire and a small Greek force would leave an indelible mark on the annals of warfare. But what was the aftermath of this battle, you ask? Let's delve into it. The immediate consequence was a delay in the Persian advance. The Greeks, who held their ground against the vast Persian army, bought precious time for the rest of Greece. The city-states, once divided, now had the opportunity to unite and prepare for the oncoming storm. The Battle of Thermopylae was not just a fight, it was a strategic delay, a critical pause that allowed the Greeks to brace themselves for the battles to come. But the Battle of Thermopylae was more than a mere delay. It was a turning point in the Persian Wars. The Greeks, against all odds, managed to stand their ground, demonstrating to the Persians and the world that they were not an easy conquest. This resilience would eventually lead to the Greek victory in the Persian Wars, a victory that would alter the course of Western civilization. Yet the Battle of Thermopylae's most significant legacy lies not in its strategic importance, but in the story it tells. The tale of the 300 Spartans who stood their ground against a Persian army that dwarfed them has become a symbol of courage and sacrifice. Their stand at the hot gates, where they fought to their last breath, has been immortalized in art, literature and film. This story, this testament to human courage and resilience, continues to inspire us. It reminds us of what we can achieve when we stand together, when we fight not just for ourselves, but for our freedom, for our way of life. It is a story that transcends time and geography, a story that speaks to the heart of every human being. The Battle of Thermopylae, a testament to the unyielding spirit of freedom, continues to inspire even today.